New developments tonight into the case of a Westside Bible School teacher accused of having sex with a teenage student. Now questions are being raised about the church where he previously worked. Robert Browning has since been fired from Cedar Creek Christian School. Now since the news first broke, our newsroom began receiving messages from people who say Browning previously worked at Old Plank Baptist Church and Christian Academy as a youth minister. They are concerned about the potential for other victims. News for Jacks reporter Eric Aubigny joins us live after calling Old Plank Baptist to ask about those parents' concerns. And Eric, I understand a school administrator wasn't happy at all about that phone call you made. Uh, no, he was not happy. In fact, that school administrator was the uh, church, uh, what do you call it, the church worship leader. He was also the school principal, and he sounded very agitated when I called. In fact, he yelled at me over the phone and said there would be no comment, and that was before telling me that, uh, well, that was just after telling me uh, that um, his only concern was for Browning's family. Then he hung up. Parents of students who attended Old Plank Baptist Church and Christian Academy on Jacksonville's west side when Robert Browning worked there as a youth minister are reaching out to News for Jax. It comes after we reported Browning had been fired from his Bible teaching job at Cedar Creek Christian Academy and Baptist Church. He was fired after his arrest on sexual assault charges involving a girl under the age of 16. We spoke to a mom who attended Old Plank Baptist Church with her family. I was very concerned. I always kind of had that gut feeling of didn't let her go on trips or what have you with the church. Um, he was just, um, I thought, a little too close to the kids. The woman I spoke to says her daughter often attended youth programs supervised by Browning. Is this causing you to have a serious conversation with your daughter? Uh, yes, it is. She says she's having that conversation because she wants to be sure there was no inappropriate contact with her daughter. I spoke to another parent who was also concerned. She is urging parents to talk to their children to make sure they're not victims. We as parents are to protect and be vigilant for our children. Although school officials at Old Plank Baptist Church and Christian Academy won't say why Robert Browning left, school officials at Cedar Creek Christian Schools say they were told by Browning that he was let go because of a dispute with faculty. Browning had a clean record before his arrest. He may have not had a criminal record before, but you know, you see all these um, people that come up that have analyzed criminals, and if he's done it once, there's probably a good possibility he's done it before. Cedar Creek officials say they conducted extensive background checks on Browning before he was hired, and he passed with no problems. Now, in the wake of Browning's arrest, parents who send their kids here to Cedar Creek uh, Christian uh, School are also questioning their children. Coming up at 11, you're going to hear from one of those parents. You're also going to hear that parent sound off on uh, on uh, uh, claims that the, the child in this case uh, made this all up. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.